If you need to add or replace an existing three-way switch, well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to wire in that new three-way switch. Now, a three-way switch is usually found in a room where you have one switch on one wall, and then you have the other switch on the other wall, and then you have your light up above. And each switch can operate that light. And of course, step one is always to shut off power before we begin. So let's head out to the circuit breaker panel and flip off that breaker. Now, if you need to know how to find that breaker, watch this video right here. So we're gonna flip off the main breaker. Now that we've made it back from shutting off the power, it's time to wire these three-way switches up. Now, as you can see, I've already pre-run my wiring. I used 14.2 from the switch to the light and then I used 14.3 from switch to switch. Now at home, you may want to use 12.2. I'm going to use a 15 amp breaker, which accepts the 14.2 and 14.3. Also, I've used conduit here. Most likely at your house, you're just going to use your Romex right inside the wall. Now there are a few different ways to wire in three-way switches. In today's example, I'm going to show you where power comes into the first switch, runs through to the second switch, and then up to the light. These next few slides will show you the other options on how to wire in a three-way switch. Feel free to pause it and study the diagrams if necessary. Now today I'm going to be using standard wall switches. You can use decorative wall switches and the wiring in will be exactly the same. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to bond the ground wires because these ground wires are all going to run throughout the whole circuit and that way everything is grounded together. Now there's a few different ways to bond the ground wires. The first method I'm going to show you is to make a pigtail with a green wire nut. Now this particular one has a hole in the top of it and you'll see why here in just a second. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is slide the wire nut down over the long copper ground and then we're gonna twist and bond those two together real tight get a good connection so what you got left is the wire nut with your bare copper coming out of the cap and that's what's going to connect to the switch ground okay the second connection we're going to make is the neutrals now the neutrals also need to be bonded together they won't hook up to this first switch they actually run through the entire circuit up to the light so what I've chosen to use for that is a clamp connector. This one make it made by uh, Wago. And these are easy. You just insert the stripped copper from the wire, one in each slot, and close the clamps. So let's do that now. And now that it's clamped, we can kind of accordion that back to the back of the box. And what we're left is, is our hot power wire. That's the black wire coming from the power source. We have our green ground here, and then we have our red and black. Now these two red and black, these will be our traveler wires. And basically these wires hook one switch to the next switch. Okay, now that we've got our ground bonded, we're gonna hook it up to the switch here, obviously. The bare copper ground wire goes on the green. Okay, so the next connection we need to make is our hot. Now this is our power wire coming from our power source. And we're gonna connect that right on to the common lug. That's the lug at the bottom by itself. Again, we wanna make sure that J-hook is in a clockwise rotation. And we'll cinch that down. Okay, now that the hot wire's on, we want to hook up our red and black. Now, the red and black are our traveler wires. 
These two wires actually head just from here to the other switch, and that's the two traveling connecting wires that connect the two switches together. Okay, now it doesn't really matter which side you put the red and black on, but just be sure on the other switch you keep it uniform. If you have the red on the left over here, then put the red on the left over there. So let's go ahead and tighten this one down. Okay, and the final wire in the first box is our black traveler wire. And there you have it, the first switch is wired up. So the last thing to do is check our connections, make sure everything's tight, not touching. Gonna wanna gently push your wiring back in and then we can fasten it down. Okay, now that we've got our first switch installed, it's time to move over to the second switch. Okay, so the first connection we need to make is to splice together the neutrals again, sending it up to the lamp. So we're going to use our Wago connector again, about 11 millimeters stripped on each conductor. Clamp those down, voila, it's done. So we can accordion these back, get them out of the way, back of the box. Okay, so now that the neutrals are spliced, it's time to splice our ground so everything is grounded together. This time I'm gonna use another Wago. So I'm simply gonna insert 14-2 grounds here into it. Now I've already, as you can see, spliced in a bare copper wire that will connect to our switch. Okay, so now we have a pigtail, and this one here will go to the switch. Okay, now that we've got our grounds bonded and our Wago, we can go ahead and connect it to the switch. Okay, the rest is just like the first switch. We're gonna hook up our hot wire. Now this is the one running up to the lamp. Put that on. And now it's time to hook up our travelers. Okay, we'll start out with our red traveler, which if you remember goes on the left side of the switch. And then finally our black traveler goes on the right side of the switch. And that's it, everything's wired in. Okay, now that everything's wired in, we've pushed back our switch a bit. It's time to check the terminals, give them all a good tug. Make sure they're on there secure and we'll push this switch back into the box and fasten it on. Okay, I've got the switch fastened in and it's time to move up to wire the light. Okay, now that we've got our switches wired, it's time to wire in the light itself. Now this is pretty easy. Your copper ground wire there. Fasten it down. Okay, now that we've got our ground wire connected, it's time to make our hot and neutral connection. Now the neutral is going to go, you'll see the two silver screws. I'll pop that on there. And then the hot goes here, connection with the brass. And we're ready to insert the light bulb and give her a test. Now, of course, before we can test this out, one thing we need to do is turn the circuit breaker to get power back to the circuit. So let's head out to the breaker panel and flip that breaker back on. And now we'll turn on the main breaker. Now that we've got our circuit breaker turned on, the last step is just to see how it works. And of course, there you go. The first switch turns it on, the other one turns it off. You can move back and forth. And that's how you wire in a three-way switch, most commonly used on either side of a room or most commonly top and bottom of a stairwell. And as always, if you found value in this video, please subscribe to our channel here and watch our next video here.